What's going on my peeps? Your boy Versatile is back with another video. And today we are talking about the navigation gestures that is implemented within Samsung One UI on top of, which is on top of Android 9 Pi. And specifically some of the, uh, one key difference that is, or that has been found in the Galaxy S10 across the board, and in this specific case, the S10e. So, a few things that you probably would like to change in terms of accessibility to be able to reach things and not have to really maneuver the phone in your hand, regardless of the size of your phone, would be to be able to simply swipe down to bring your notification panel or in your settings down, or to get straight into your you know app drawer now that's already automatically on to get into your app drawer you can actually switch that off if, if you wanted to i believe but let's say you wanted to activate that the quick notification panel you go into settings oh you can also do it via fingerprint sensor i have mine off let's say i had that on i just swipe on the fingerprint sensor located on the side here a little bit too high and swipe up and down on that to be able to access your notification panel the display if we go to home screen here and here we go quick open notification panel so swipe down to open the notification panel from the home screen so that of course I have that on and as you guys saw if I swipe up here we're gonna get to that in a second if I swipe down, boom, you swipe it back up. You know, if you want to get to all of it, just swipe down twice. Or you can do the two finger. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Get back. It doesn't work anymore. Um, let's see here. Oh, it's from here. So you swipe like that, and boom, shaka laka, you have the ability to get straight into all your quick settings. Now let's say you know as you guys see i don't have my buttons activated down here the software haptic buttons such as the recent apps the home screen and the back button i'm going with the on-screen gestures well with the on-screen gestures as you see that's activated here if we go back into settings we can actually activate that by going to display and then going to navigation bar and then once we're in navigation bar we see here now we have navigation buttons as I was talking about there. Of course, I have mine in that order if I would use them. And then you have on screen gestures in here. As you see, you swipe up there for back, swipe in the middle for home, and swipe on the left for your recent apps. Now, you see down here, I don't have my hints on. It's a clean bottom, full display. So if I swipe up from the middle, I'm back to my home screen. I swipe up here, brings up my recent apps. I swipe up here on the right back away it's gone so you know when you're within apps let's say you're on oh within settings you go into display and you're like oh wrong place you just swipe up you're back now here's the key difference in terms of how Samsung one UI utilizes your quick you know switcher uh, between uh, oof, tongue twister how you can quickly switch between apps without having to go to the notification panel well let me show you with the buttons so if i turn my buttons back on notification buttons there will be a slight hiccup as it has adjusted if i swipe left or swipe to the right on the home button you see i can bring up the quick switcher and then you tap the recent apps recent apps comes up then you can press back it all goes away and then of course i want to bring it back up now with full screen i don't have my gesture hints on i can't activate the quick switcher there's no way to activate the quick switcher that's strange now i don't know if samsung just simply forgot to activate that or they decided to forego it but you can't activate it here and I, I talked about it in my 24 hours later video about my experience with the Samsung Galaxy S10e thus far but upon playing around and shout out to Tim Schofield too who likewise confirmed it on the S10 plus 
If you activate the hints, they show you where the bag, the home, and the recent apps is. But now you can you can quickly switch between them and you get an animation here, as you guys see, which I like because on the pixel it doesn't actually utilize that. Um, but you can see, okay, now you can switch between them. And then all you have is just these three little buttons. So swipe up and it kind of moves a little bit. Kind of, kind of semi uh, reminds you of the home bar on the iPhone uh, 10, 10R, 10S, 10S Max uh, phones with the, with the one home bar. Here you get three little bars. And of course you can swipe up, it bounces. You can swipe here, oh, wrong one. You can swipe here, boom, brings it up, swipe up from home, it's away, and then you want to access your quick switcher, just swipe to the right, and it'll pull up, boink, 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 boink. So those are some the, 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 the main differences with that. I don't know if I want to leave my hints on just for that one feature. I've kind of gotten used to just kind of swiping over here, and with the having the S10E, it's smaller, it's more compact, it's better form fitting for the hand. So, reaching over to the recent apps is not a big deal. Um, of course, yeah, I could go ahead and just kind of leave it on, but I do like having that full screen effect of not having it on. But it looks clean here too, I'm not gonna complain. Almost looks as if I'm using like a Nova launcher or something, I'm not gonna complain. So those are the uh, on-screen navigation gestures that you can implement or activate on the Galaxy S10 E, S10, and S10 Plus, and maybe it'll be addressed in a, a future software update as uh, in regards to being able to use your quick switcher without the gesture hints. I don't know why it's limited to that. That's very strange. Um, clearly, you know where the home bar area is without it. To be able to just go, well, we, it, we, they won't, they want, want, but it is what it is. Do you like them? Are you using them on your Samsung device or on your phone in general? Do you look forward to being able to just operate via software gestures or on screen gestures, navigation gestures? You have an iPhone, do you like using them on the 10, you know, any of the 10 series phones? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. But your boy Versatile is signing out. And until the next video, no, sink, 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 s